In a couple of different previous videos, I showed you how to download and install Windows Server 2025, and here's the first look at it. Take a look. This is the Server Manager, and at the bottom you can see the taskbar looks just like Windows 11. Now, there's not a lot on here yet, but if I click on All Apps, you can see all the different apps that come in here. A lot of them are pretty standard stuff, like the Paint and the Calculator, and then, of course, Edge, things like that. We also see the terminal. There's the terminal that opens up that we also saw in Windows 11 as well. But if you right click, you can also choose terminal here as well. Let's take a look at Server Manager under the Add Roles and Features. And up till now, it's pretty much the same. So if I expand File and Storage Services, the file server role is no longer installed by default. So you'll need to go ahead and check that box if you want the server to be a file server. So you can also see storage services is checked by default. Click Next. And here are all the different features. And under the .NET framework, you can see that that portion is installed. You still have to install .35 manually if you need that for any particular applications. Uh, you have the system data archivers installed. You can see PowerShell is installed, but you can see there's multiple different PowerShell options here. And then if you go down a little further, you can see the wireless LAN server, which is installed as well. So I'm going to click Cancel on that and go down to the Start button once again and go back to All Apps. And you'll notice that Windows Security is now right in the Start menu, and it takes you right to Windows Security. Now, this part looks fairly familiar because if you went into Settings before, you would see these options as well. But it, it wants to Microsoft wants you to go directly to the security area just to make sure everything is set up uh, as it should be for the best possible security. So I'll click on Virus and Threat Protection. You can see that Defender is up and running. Here's the ransomware protection. Now, by default, that's turned off, so you do want to make sure you turn that on to keep from getting ransomware hacked. Now, this works with uh, the file share. So if you turn on file sharing, then you can uh, have a little bit more security from getting ransomware encrypted files from people who get infected on their client computers and would normally pass that on to your server. So that's interesting. I'm going to go down to the Start button and just choose Settings just to see what shows up. It's the first time I've seen it as, as well. So you can see under System, you've got a lot of the same things from Windows Server 2022. I'm going to go down to About. About is where we would typically join a computer to a domain. And here you can see the device name. You can see how much RAM we have and, and other types of information. I can turn on Remote Desktop if I'd like and add in any allowed users that I need to add in as well. Now, of course, everybody's going to want to know, does this still use Control Panel? So let's take a look. I'll go ahead and type in Control Panel, or let's see if it's no longer... No, it's still there. There is Control Panel. And I'll go ahead and open it up, and I'll change the category. And we see a lot of the same types of control panel options we've seen in the past. If I click on System, it's, let's see if it takes us to Settings, which it does. It takes us right to the About section, which is what I expected. But you never know, since this is a new operating system. And also keep in mind that what you see now may not be in the final version. But this does give us a really good idea of what's all included. I'll go ahead and click on Defender just to see the firewall. Yep, that looks the same as well. I'll click on Advanced Settings, and we see Inbound and Outbound Rules. So not a huge difference between 2022 and 2025 so far, at least uh, you know as far as the most obvious things that we see in the graphical user interface. Now, it's possible there's a lot of things under the hood that we don't see that have been improved. In the lower right-hand corner, there's a couple of uh, interesting things here. We have Azure Arc, which is in there. And this links you into an Azure service. You'll have to click on the link and sign in or create an account if you haven't already. And there is a, an additional charge for those types of licenses. But take a look. There's Copilot right here in preview. So I'll click on that. But unfortunately, it doesn't actually do anything when you click on it. Let's take a look at the Task Manager. And Task Manager looks just like it does in Windows 11. We can see it's the sideways view now. We see CPU 
memory, etc., app history, things like that. So this part is pretty familiar if you already have Windows 11. And if I right click on the picture of the little world here, because it says I'm not connected to anything yet, I'll click on Network and Internet Settings and click on the familiar Ethernet. And here you can see that although I'm set up for DHCP, I've got my local link address, meaning it can't find a DHCP server. There's lots more to discover with Windows Server 2025, and I'll keep making videos such as installing Active Directory and many other of the roles and features.